Welcome back to the Rex to Riches series Dream Home Decorator where Kara is trying to make a fortune by being a dream home decorator. Uh, last time I have asked you for a few suggestions on what to do with this uh, series, how we are gonna improve the story going on and I got a ton of responses so thank you, thank you so much for that. Just reading through those um, uh, a story formed in my head. It is a mix of all your suggestions or most of your suggestions because you've got some really great one. So I didn't go with one suggestion but with a really, really big mix. I have made some changes to the save off camera. I am not gonna spoil what they are but you'll see soon enough. For now we are gonna meet up with our club and just Let's see. Oh, we've got mail. Let's uh, let's check uh, check us first. Uh, let's check first. That's uh, important. Sometimes he gets really nice stuff. We got a package. What is this? Hello, friend. I'm stunned by the beauty of your decorated spaces, Emit. I'm Edgar, and he sent me a Princess Cordelia royal bust. Let's check in my inventory where uh, where it is. Let's see. <gasps> yeah, there it is. And I've got a lot of other stuff. Oh yes, this is from market and I unlocked that carpet. I do not know where those, <laughs> those towels came from. Where do I put it? Um, don't really have this. Oh, next to her bed. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> of course, you could just sell it with this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really, really like it. <laughs> this is uh, it's quite funny. Just one such a bus. Yeah, let's let's go to the gym. Let's uh, meet up with her friends. She's running on the treadmill in her one of her new outfits. And if you pay attention, you'll see we have added a new member. She doesn't want to be on camera apparently. <laughs> She hates and she hates the the plants. Do you recognize her? Because I see seed her up a little bit. Uh, she really doesn't want to be on camera. But uh we'll uh, we'll change this. Okay, can you see her now? There she is. And uh, Kira is about to join in a a uh, yoga session. I don't know if you can recognize her with new hair and new clothes, but more later in the episode. Let's just practice yoga for now, because I think Kira is really gonna like it. Okay, once she's done, maybe they can hang out in the sauna. Oh, the, she! Yeah, I thought she might like it. Yes, the meditation and uh, or just a wellness skill is now one of her likes. That is awesome. I've asked the club to join me in this onsen, I think. No, it's not an onsen. It is a hot steam bath. But it appears that our mystery woman has fled the scene. And it also appears none of them showered. So <laughs> water is gross. Well, let's just go home. She had a very pleasant evening. But tomorrow we are gonna do another renovation. It's a miracle. Kira actually slept through the night. Oh, her gig is almost there. Let's uh, get her ready. Let's get some food and have a shower. I don't know if she has enough time for this, but uh, let's just try it. Looks like she doesn't have some time to eat. Yeah, let's just uh, go to work. Let's see where we end up this time. We appear to be in Mount Kamarebi. Oh, there are two graves here. Uh, it appears to be a man and a woman. Hopefully some, someone appears to still be living here. Let's let's see. I don't see anyone. Top floor. Oh yes. There is someone. She is a teen. Oh and she's very very sad. Oh no. Oh this is so so sad. Apparently her parents very recently died and they left her some money so now she is using that money to uh, renovate her living room oh no <laughs> poor kayori <laughs> poor thing yes of course i will renovate your living room for you just tell me what you want me to do 
I've got already a bunch of likes and dislikes from her. She likes Queen Anne Nicole in the color red. So that's gonna be entirely different from what uh, what's this now. Very teenage-like, I think. <laughs> to want something entirely different from her parents. Maybe she's even mad of her parents leaving her. And she just wants to leave her mark on her own. She also likes wellness. She doesn't like black and she doesn't like photography. I think I've got enough to... Uh, actually renovate this. I'm gonna send her away and I'm gonna take some pictures and then we are gonna to going to renovate. Okay I'm gonna speed this footage up for you again. First I'm deleting everything there is. I'm trying to make sure nothing ends up in my own inventory because that is a bug that we, uh, we have. I'm filtering on Queen and Decor and on the color red. I'm including custom content. These lights are custom content and I think they're really, really fit here. And yes, this is a completely different style. All this rocking chair is also custom content. I think is really, really pretty. And I'm keeping a bit with the, the Japanese team with those flowers, but yeah, I also uh, changed the flooring and it, it's gonna be entirely different it's gonna be a bit uh, <laughs> vampire like although she doesn't like black so I'm just keep filtering on red this spot I will make her wellness studio so she can just come home kick her shoes off and do some yoga uh, also putting in some of those uh, scented things I forgot what they were <laughs> okay, and some paintings that fit in those categories and I'm just filling it up with uh, flowers and plants because that's what you do when you have an empty spot. I think this is really what she likes is something quite different that doesn't fit the rest of the house but maybe if she likes it she will uh, call Kira back to do some more renovations. First the after pictures and then let's call her back to this lot. Let's select the before and after pictures. Hey, what is she? I haven't called her back to the lot yet. What's she doing here? Uh, don't tell me this gig is bugged. Oh no. I have updated and checked all my mods, but these bugs are just part of the pack. I And we've got the ghost of her dead mother coming to the reveal. Can I reveal it to her? Um, I'm just gonna try. Nothing seems to be happening so far. I can click reveal and it just fades away. Can I click on her? Let's see the daughter. No, I have nothing. And the mom. I can click reveal on her. Will something happen? Oh, yes! Apparently, I'm gonna reveal this space to the dead mother of the teenager. Okay, and now where is she going? I'm just gonna talk to her a bit. Debate the existence of vampires is always a good thing to do. Can I show stuff off? That would be nice. Let's uh, get uh, talking to her first. Apparently it doesn't count as call, talking to the client. Oh, I can show stuff off, but I can't finish the... So apparently the game doesn't see her as a client anymore. It's a dead mom that just went back into her grave. Nice. I cheated to talk to the client bit, but I don't get the option to ask for a final verdict. It doesn't even... It's something in the, in the reveal event list. I can't get the ghost back on this lot. Uh, I don't know what uh, what to do. Just spend some time here, I guess. Try to... I don't know. I've had Kira spend quite some time here, but it doesn't look like I can get a final verdict. So I'm just gonna cancel this one. And I think, yes, I do get my money and they did like the renovation. Let's just go home. This was a weird bug, unfortunately. And the game is telling me, well, that went nicely. At least she's got a promotion. Okay, uh, let's just take care of her needs. I was thinking I could have Kira take out the entire club to dinner. 
Ik uh, to celebrate her promotion. She's got uh, some money now. Ten thousand simoleons. Oh, and we can also renovate her house. Give her an actual house. That would be cool. I will do that uh, that later on. I think it's so nice. She is so close with so many people. And you might have guessed it by now. The mystery woman is Lilith Fator. She is the sister of Caleb Fator, and she is a, a vampire. And I was thinking, maybe they like each other. Let's just see where this is taking us. Let's just see if they actually like each other. I'm give, have given them all the chef special. Only Kira has something to drink because there is a bug in the restaurant. Uh, in the restaurant pack. If you give. The NPCs, so the Sims you don't control. Oh, poor Lilith. I even gave her plasma fruit salad, but apparently she even can't eat that. Um, if you give them something to drink and you can't control them, they will just drink and don't eat their food, which is a bit of a waste and a bit of a shame. So I've just given them something to eat, so they will finish their plate. Okay, let's order some dessert for the group. I'm seeing the dragon's breath. The ice cream, this one is funny. <laughs> you'll, you'll tell. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna give Lilith some, she'll just puke. All these different ice cream flavors came with a cool kitchen stuff pack. And yeah, <laughs> he is breathing fire. There is also an ice cream that turns your sims green, but it wasn't on the menu, unfortunately. I, re I really love the effects that these, uh, these ice creams have on them. They had a really great night together. Just having dinner together. I think it's so fun. Oh, and the first flirt from Kira. Oh, she likes it. Oh my god, a little bit of romance. Awesome. It's after midnight, so I am gonna end the dinner and send Kira home. Oh, she really needs a pee too. Come on, Kira, you can make it. No, you couldn't make it to the bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> so close. So close. There is no puddle on the floor. I think the game thinks there's not enough room for a puddle or something. Well, just have her take a shower and go to sleep. Okay, uh, voting is now open, so let's vote on some neighborhood action plans and what. Oh, I totally forgot to select the gig. Uh, that is not a smart. What will we do? A room renovation. Looks like the fabulous living room renovation pays the most. And this one is with the Fatola. So Lilith and Caleb's home. That could be interesting. Okay, what neighborhood action plan do we, we got? Rock your body and mind because she's into fitness and tech support. And I'm gonna do Foodies Unite because it doesn't really affect the gameplay that much. Well, it looks like Kira has a day off, so what better day than to ask Lilith on a date? Let's just see where it goes. It's also love day, so going out on a date will uh, complete this holiday. I'm also gonna give her some flowers that I got in my inventory and just try to complete this. This holiday, oh, Lilith is very uncomfortable. Oh no, she's happy. Okay, she really likes the flower. Cute. <laughs> Let's just talk to her. Maybe we can even get gold on our date. And she's gonna sit on the side of the pool. <laughs> Yay. Why do Sims always have to be that awkward? And what are you doing here? We're on a date. Okay, this mom is amazing. You saw what it just did? <laughs> I just left clicked on the person and he was removed from the conversation. This it, it is one of the best mods, I believe. It's either from Zero or Zerbu. I never seem to uh, be able to differentiate between the two. I uh, I'll link it down below because that is one tiny but very powerful mod. This date is really going so well. <laughs> They're really hitting it off. I love this attractiveness. <laughs> Kara got the impression that Lilith finds her quite attractive. Ooh, <laughs> that's going really well. I got the option for a first kiss. Yes, 
Oh, this is so adorable. Let me know what you think in the comments of their relationship. Although I should know, uh, notice you that uh, I am pre-recording some episodes because my kids will be home for about six weeks in a couple of weeks and I just want to be able to keep posting episodes for you. I will read your comments and I will reply to them as always. But it could take a couple of episodes before I actually implement your suggestions. Just, to, just so you know. I'm having Kira ask Lilith if she wants to be her girlfriend. Yes, she wants to! Oh, they are so adorable! I really want Kira to have a picture of her and Lilith to hang on her wall. And she's take a selfie together. Oh, this is so cute. Let's do a middle one. Because she has a small home. Um, yeah, I think landscape is better. Yeah. Oh, they look so cute together. Let's try a few different filters. I just saw the option that they could uh, skinny dip in here. <laughs> that is funny. That is so funny. And Kara loves it because she loves it. This. Oh, this is <laughs> this is cute. And just having them play around in one of those smaller pools. Yeah, this uh, this is adorable. They can't skinny dip anymore because they're children on the on the last. Oh, they complete and I got a golden reward. This is awesome. And we've got incoming. I think it's time for Kira to go home. So Kira has some money now, so I am thinking of giving her a bigger house. I still want it to be a small house, partly because that costs less money and partly because of the birds perks we got. I'm trying to stay within 64 tiles. There will be a bedroom to the left, the living room, kitchen to the right and a 2x3 bathroom which I think is the perfect size for a bathroom. She bought some stuff in San Marcino on a festival a few weeks, a few days back. And of course I am gonna use the stuff we got there. I am trying to stay within the style she likes. And uh, first I'm placing everything. Uh, I, I have that couch and the chair are both things she already got. Oh and I love that pink column with the candles on it. I think that will look really really nice. I am using those windows from the Moschino stuff pack. I think they look really good and I think a bed will fit ex yes it fits exactly in the middle of this. I am gonna build her her own wardrobe of course and some of her own clothes to just hang there and some shoes in there. I can't place more shoes in there that's a bit, a bit sad. I'm giving her a desk and no computer or chair right now but I will in the, in the future and in, of course I need to use new wallpaper and some uh, neutral wallpaper for in the bathroom. That window covering is from my first pet stuff. I really like that one. I know it's a controversial pack but they do have some good stuff in it. And now I'm working on the kitchen. She got an extra stove so she can actually cook food and I've got the money for a bit better fridge. But I'm starting to run out of money. <laughs> I don't have the money for an actual bin outside, but we do have one inside. I don't want to sell that statue because it's just so weird, so random and extra. I love this coffee table by the way. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing and she needs a rug in here. And her house is all done for now at least. Of course when she gets more money we can expand. Oh, I forgot the outside. I <laughs> didn't. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's do that uh, quickly. I start with some wallpaper on the outside. It was a bit much. It's also a bit much. Yeah, a nice neutral color. Yeah, I, uh, I like this. And the roof. The roof is made out of four pieces right now. I'm gonna use the solar panel just so uh, I can save a little bit of money. And I love this glass rooftop. <laughs> It's a bit extra, but yeah, you know, I even got a bit of money left for curtains, but no, 
I don't actually, but I uh, I do like her little house. Kaori, oh, that was that uh, orphan teenager. Yeah, yeah. Why, uh, why not? Let's just go to the festival. I still, f still feel sorry for Kaori, <laughs> losing her parents. Oh no, 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 not no. Just change your outfits. Oh, <laughs> little seemed to like it. She just gave her a rose. <laughs> She's standing in naked. Oh my god. I love the Sims. I love the Sims. She needs to blow bubbles on a bubble blower. Oh, she already completed it. Where is she off to? Come back, Kira. <laughs> just blow bubbles together. Hey, why don't they like Lilith? Let's attend the curry challenge again. Maybe she will do better this time. Last time she took one bite and she just... Uh, <laughs> she uh, didn't like it. Ooh, Kiori is also trying the curry challenge. And why isn't she sitting with her girlfriend? This is weird. One bite and she... Ooh, she's blowing fire. Oh no, just one bite. She couldn't do it. Of course, she needs to buy a t-shirt, just uh, with a little bit of money she has. Oh, they're so cute together. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thorn Bailey is performing. That's uh, that's nice. Let's watch the performance. So I think this was a very successful day for Kira. Tomorrow she has another gig, so I think we should wrap this up and go home. So her needs will be fully up when she has her gig tomorrow. Her first night at a new home. Yeah, yeah. I like this style. I'm just hoping Kira does too. I didn't have... She didn't have any negative moodlets as of yet. But we'll see. Let's get her needs up as far as possible for this gig. Hey Lilith. Do you want to go out on a date? No, I'm gonna renovate your house in uh, within an hour. So I'm kind of hoping you are there too. Almost time to go. Let's eat. Come up, Kira. Oh uh, yeah, time to design. Let's go. Hey, Lilith, I am coming to design your home. Oh, you don't like? I think that was island decor. I'm not. In, I didn't get any likes and dislikes from that. Knocking on the door. Let's see what we're working with. A very gothic style, which I mean you would expect for vampires. It will pay a lot, but the budget isn't too big. And they don't really have any electronics I can, uh, can buy. Oh, meeting uh, Caleb for the first time. Let's just see what her likes and dislikes are. Okay, Caleb doesn't like programming and he does like painting. It's really on brand for him. Okay, they also don't like video gaming. They do like acting and they do like skiing. I mean, I for now I only got in hobbies. So I'm just gonna try and ask them about their favorite colors and their favorite decor styles. See if that brings us anything. Okay, Caleb likes the color white. Uh, Lilith dislikes island decor and Caleb dislikes Cosmo Lux decor. I think this is all I can get out of them. So I pretty much got free reign, I think. I'm gonna take some after pictures and then uh, we'll get building. Let's speed this part up again. First, I'm deleting everything because why not and they like painting so they're getting an easel and I am looking through the styles I have no idea what kind of stuff they would really like I'm not going for the more modern looking looking stuff I like the truck underneath the, the easel it looks like there's actual painting being done there I think I'm gonna give them a TV I don't think they want to go too modern so I'm keeping that down a, a little bit. I am gonna make the living room a little bit more no uh, modern, just to bring them into the next century. Let's, uh, I have no idea how old Caleb and Lilith are. I'm exchanging their dark blue curtains for the same one in white because Caleb said he uh, loved white. 
and that the coffee table and those chairs are from the paranormal stuff back. They are a bit like what they had, but just a touch, touch more modern. And they like skiing, so I'm gonna place some skis in there. Cause why not? And they also liked acting. I was thinking of placing a mirror in here, but vampires do not have a reflection. So that might not be the best thing to do. So I just gave him a microphone and the TV also came up when I filled it on the uh, acting hobby. I am looking for some stuff to place here. I've only got 350 simoleons left. Of course, I could sell that bookcase from Realm of Magic Cross. It is very, very expensive. <laughs> but I think it's just so, so pretty. There is not. I don't think they like to play Legos. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what, uh, what to place here, just placing some pictures because they did like painting and if you filter on the painting hobby you actually get paintings. It might be a little bit empty in the back but I do, I do like it, it's just a little bit more modern than uh, what it was. Let's take some after pictures now. Okay, let's reveal this to Lilith and Caleb. I really hope they're gonna like it. They didn't give me much to go on, so this could go either way. Oh, they can't wait. <laughs> they're speeding towards the front door. Okay, let's reveal the renovation to them. Do so we have sparkles? Yes, we have sparkles. Come on in. Are they, will they be covering their eyes? You never know when bugs may occur. Yeah. It's working. It is working. Are they liking it? Oh, yes. And we even got the slideshow with the befores and afters. See, get rid of that old organ and just place the easel in there. And uh, remove the chess table and put nothing back. <laughs> it's just, just a, a touch more modern. Not, not too much. I really hope they like it. Oh, Lilith seems to... Oh, Caleb is loving it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good sign. Caleb is ready for his final verdict. Lilith is still looking around. I'm just gonna talk to them a little bit because I need to get a chat with client to five. I have no idea what it actually does. If it... Oh, Caleb really seems to love it. He, she doesn't like Caleb. Oh, she's gonna confess her undying love. Oh, it's so cute. Yes, oh, she's gonna make a pan first. Now, come on, ask Caleb for his final verdict. Come on. What do you think, Caleb? Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> that was the strangest hug. Oh, okay. No, this is the strangest hug I've ever seen in The Sims. Oh my. Come on, Lilith. Oh, yes. She is ready for her final verdict, too. If she likes it, too. It will be amazing. Yes, she loves it. Maybe just because Kara is her girlfriend. But, uh, yes. Oh, there's a lot of money. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep it with two renovations this time because Kira had the day off, a very successful one, and we did her house, of course. So let's get a new job for the next episode. What will pay the most? Wait, am I seeing flat on here? We've already done Lilith and Caleb's house, so only fair we're gonna do a job for Flat next. Otherwise, she will just feel left behind, of course. I am gonna leave this part here. I hope you like it. If you did, please press like as it really helps out me and my channel. I post new Sims 4 videos every day. I will try to post the next episode next week. Um, I might be pre-recording it, so I might not have seen all your comments by then, but I will read your comments and I will uh, listen to your suggestions. And But it might be a few episodes in before I can actually act on them, just so you know. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.